If I don't tell you anything worth a damn, listen to this, all right? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Diamond. I share content on lifestyle, health, wellness, and beauty. So if you're interested in stuff like that, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already, go ahead and check out my Instagram, at The Diamond Mentality. There, I share content on lifestyle, health, wellness, and beauty as well. And if you find your way, making your way over to my Instagram, check out my blog, the link is down below. So now that I have all of the formalities out of the way, and you're a part of the family now, let's get right into the video today's video is part one of a series that i'm doing i think it's going to be it's going to end up being a three-part series and i want to go over the ordinary products that i have and that i use that help me get rid of hyperpigmentation help me get rid of my dark spots helped me control my acne and help me get rid of the dark marks under my eye so i'm just going to go over a couple products in each video and I'm going to be going in depth and telling you when to use it, how to use it, and how often to use it. So first, we have the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. This I have been using for a long, periodically time. We have to sit out here and wait a long, periodically time. When you see my skin, and especially if you follow me on Instagram, and I'm on my stories, and I don't have any makeup on, and I look poreless, it's mainly because glycolic acid that I use almost every day. The glycolic acid is a liquid exfoliant. What does that mean? What is that, and why do I say it's good for hyperpigmentation? Well, when dealing with hyperpigmentation, textured skin, or dark marks on your skin, you want to exfoliate, okay? I exfoliate like a crazy person. Not only do I use this to exfoliate, but I have my own little exfoliating sponge that I use every day. And like a madman, or like Pharrell. You have to exfoliate like a crazy man. <laughs> you know, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> You know. you know, you know, Pharrell, Pharrell hasn't aged in like 20, 30 years and he has not one dark mark on his face. And you know why? Because he exfoliates every day. OK, the reason you want to exfoliate is to get rid of the dead skin cells on your face. And by getting rid of the dead skin cells, you're allowing new cells to form, which in turn are going to lighten dark marks and help reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation on the skin. When you don't exfoliate, you experience dull skin, you experience textured skin, an even skin, and you also, in most cases, will experience large pores. So if you're a person that has large pores and you're wondering, why the fuck are my pores so huge? It could be, one of the reasons could be that you're not exfoliating your skin as often as you should. Not exfoliating, especially if you have large pores, will allow bacteria to enter and get trapped into your skin, which in turn does what? causes acne and causes breakouts and we don't want that we do not want that okay how often should you use it that right there all depends on you and your skin type and how you're able to take the glycolic acid what i suggest is you doing a patch test first to make sure that you don't have like any type of reaction this is safe to use seven days a week and one time a day i personally i don't use it every day because i use other things in my skincare routine that wouldn't allow me to use this every day but if you are someone that does not use other acids in their skincare routine this is something that you could use on a day-to-day -day basis when should you use it this toner should only be used in the evening slash nighttime before you get into your serum routine so what you'll do is you'll wash your face with whatever cleanser that you use and then after washing your face and drying it you'll go in with this toner with on a cotton pad or even if you want on your hands and then you'll go ahead and you'll move 
into your serums, then your oils, then your creams. Lactic acid 5%, okay. I added this into my Amazon favorite um, skincare video. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it up here for you to watch. But this has been a game changer for me, okay? I'm someone, I have dry skin. Aside from me having dry skin, this lactic acid 5% with HA also helps with uneven skin, dry skin, large pores, and it's anti -age. And it also helps lines and wrinkles. Listen, if you're a part of my channel, you probably already know. Listen, black don't crack. But, so you still wanna get on the train of youthful skin as soon as possible. This is a water-based serum, so this is perfect to use straight after your cleanser. I absolutely adore and love this stuff because it keeps my skin like so plump and hydrated. How often should you use it and how should you use it? This is also something that you can use daily but you should only use it at nighttime. You do not want to put this on any type of broken skin, sensitive, peeling skin, or skin that has been compromised in some way, shape, or form. So if you've gotten a, a chemical peel, if, you've ha if you have any wounds or any open cuts or anything like that, do not put this on your skin, all right? Just, just don't do it. Listen, I am big on my face. I'm big on breakouts. I'm big on making sure I don't have any redness or bumps or anything like that so I get it when you use when you buy a new skincare product you want to immediately put it on your face but listen with everything with everything if I don't tell you if I don't tell you anything worth a damn listen to this all right when you purchase a new skincare product what you want to do is you want to test it on your forearm so with the lactic acid for example when you get it if you get it you put some on your forearm all right put on your forearm leave it on your forearm for 24 hours do not wash it off do not do anything leave it on for 24 hours see how your skin reacts to that okay if you feel any itchiness any burning if you see any redness or you see any type of bumps do not put it on your face and return that shit ASAP. Remember earlier where I said sometimes I use a glycolic acid and sometimes I don't if I'm using other acids? This is one of the acids that I would not mix with the glycolic acid because you just don't want to mix acids together. You just don't know how they're going to react. What I like to do is I like to go ahead, wash my face, and because this is a water-based toner, what I do is I spray my face with my um, antimicrobial spray. I mentioned that in my other video and I'm also so go to do an updated skincare routine. I spray on my antimicrobial and then I mix it with my hyaluronic acid. So I mix it with hyaluronic acid because first off it's water-based and second it this the lactic acid also has hyaluronic acid in it. So I mix those together, put it on my face and then I just follow into my skincare routine. That, doing it that way it's a perfect way to build tolerance to the product if you're afraid that you might have a reaction. Um, but you can also use it by itself. There's no issue with using it by itself. And you can put it on straight after you wash your face and then you follow into your serums, your oils, and your moisturizer. That's it. That's all I have for you for the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid and, and the Ordinary's Lactic Acid. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking about getting either of the two. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see a part two of something like this where I go in depth on other ordinary products I have that are good for hyperpigmentation, dark marks, and acne. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Good night.